Hello and welcome back to this episode of your Kingsport blog video update. I'm Jeff Fleming, Assistant City Manager for Development here in Kingsport. And I thought we'd run down some of the uh, uh, items from last night's Board of Mayor and Alderman meeting. Uh, first of all, the, um, the board uh, added funding to the Redevelopment Incentive Fund. Um, back in 2006, a fund was set up to sort of even the playing field between properties that were being considered for redevelopment so they could be economically comparable to properties that were just being developed. So when you buy a, a property that has an existing building, oftentimes you have to demolish the building and the building will have asbestos or some sort of environmentally sensitive materials. And a lot of folks just walk away from that because they don't want to deal with the complexities of redevelopment. So uh, the city put in a, uh, a fund that has uh, generated about $500,000 in grants to help people uh, even the playing field with demolishing buildings. Uh, when you do demolish the building, you have to take it to the landfill. It has to be disposed of properly, and that has a cost per ton. Uh, a lot of folks say, well, why don't you just waive the landfill fees? Well, the landfill is a separate fund, and it has to be balanced accordingly. So uh, you have to get the money from somewhere to pay the tipping fee. So it all comes back to uh, either user fees or, or property taxes. So you have to make the numbers work. So what we set up was uh, if you invest at least $200,000 into demolishing and cleaning up a site, you would be eligible for 10% or $20,000 reimbursement after you have spent that money. So we're not giving money up front, so we're not speculating. We're just basically saying after you've torn down the property, uh, we will defray some of the costs to, to help you get through that uh, time period. So that's been very popular, uh, so popular su uh, such that we had uh, run out of money. So we did appropriate $60,000. There were two uh, applications that were already approved and pending. Uh, it's managed through the chamber. And then we had two that we were anticipating on Stone Drive uh, that we certainly want to see and encourage so we wanted to be able to tell that developer with certainty that we had the funding available uh, in case they wanted to proceed so uh, we the board did make that appropriation last night unanimously and uh, hopefully we'll see the uh, the fruits of that labor here very soon there was also a resolution passed to authorize a limited early retirement incentive to city employees. I mean, everybody, of course, across the board is looking for ways to reduce their overhead. Um, this does not eliminate positions, but it does um, take folks who are on the high end of the, of the salary bracket and uh, replaces them with folks who are coming in at the entry level, which does result in a sustainable savings for some period of time. So uh, there, are, there are not that many uh, city employees that are actually eligible for that. Um, and it does take effect in, in February and they would have to retire by March. So it's a very uh, quick targeted uh, retirement incentive. So we'll see um, if that helps folks make that decision. Uh, also approved was uh, a resolution um, uh, recognizing the new Tennessee state law relating to uh, concussions in youth sports. And it basically just means that anybody who does uh, work on city property or participates in city programs will follow that, uh, that new rule to make sure that our children uh, are safe. And we've seen a lot of research about concussions lately, and so we're just following that uh, procedure. Also, the Tri-Cities Airport uh, for some time has been moving into a, an autonomous airport authority. Uh, in the past, it's been uh, jointly owned by the, the cities in the region and two counties, and all any time a decision was made, every owner had to take a vote at their independent city council or county commission meeting. Uh, by going to an airport authority, it gives them the op uh, um, opportunity to uh, apply for grants, to make decisions on how they manage the property more efficiently, uh, and in order to make that happen, uh, all the partners had agreed before prior to let that uh, property or let the airport become an authority and so now it's time to actually transfer our ownership of the land and buildings to Tri-Cities Regional Airport. So uh, our Board of Mayor and Alderman approved that last night and all of the other cities and counties in the region that are that our partners are expected to follow suit. We also re uh, reauthorized agreements with the Lynn Garden Optimus Club and the Lynnview Pee Wee Football Organization. I don't think a lot of folks maybe understand that uh, the city now owns Lynnview School and it's, it's actually Lynnview Community Center now. And so in order to be 
uh, a good neighbor. We wanted to certainly continue the relationships that have been in, the, in place uh, prior to annexation. And of course the Lynn Garden Optimist Club and the Lynn View Pee Wee Football League uh, are integral parts of that community so you can join those without regard to residency and uh, again we're just trying to be good, good neighbors and uh, share facilities in the most appropriate way. Also at the Economic Development Board, um, the uh, letter of intent with a developer from Knoxville was approved to redevelop the Supermarket Row site. We call it the Bray property. Uh, it has several buildings on it including Compton's Hardwood Flooring and IGA and the City Lock Shop and some others. Um, but that is owned by the Economic Development Board and uh, uh, ever since October of 2012 when the property was assumed by the Economic Development Board, we've been looking for options to uh, to basically flip that property. We, we're not in the business of holding property. We want to get it back into private taxable hands as quickly as possible. So uh, several folks expressed interest, but Perry Management Group out of Knoxville uh, actually took the step forward to initiate a formal uh, agreement. Uh, this will give them through September to do their due diligence. They will develop their site plans. They will calculate their costs, do all of the necessary planning that's required to make the project uh, potentially come to fruition. Does this mean it's going to happen 100%? Absolutely not. But it is the first formal step toward uh, redeveloping that very visible and key intersection in Kingsport. It does not include four parcels on the eastern end of Supermarket Row which are privately held and the, the Economic Development Board has no plans to acquire those properties. So um, you know, we, we're continuing to try to, uh, to work to make sure that that gets redeveloped. Uh, they will be pursuing a, a tax increment financing package for that property uh, and you may ask why would you do that for apartments here as opposed to somewhere else. Um, tax increment financing is intended to uh, remove obstacles uh, when it comes to the, the extra additional cost to develop properties that already have buildings or, or need to be demolished, need to be prepared that would not exist in a greenfields type site where you just have a grassy field that you're going to have to develop. So to the extent that, uh, that they qualify for these, we will negotiate with the Kingsport Housing and Redevelopment Authority um, on how to, to manage that longer term. So uh, we, are, we are excited about the opportunity. Uh, we are cautiously optimistic about uh, the future of Supermarket Row and of course we're going to do everything in our power to make sure that uh, we can have new upscale apartments here in downtown Kingsport. Um, the lofts that you've seen perhaps in the downtown area are full. There's a waiting list but we don't have any new construction options in the downtown area. So again we're very excited to, to get that first baby step taken and uh, we're eager to see what the future holds uh, here in Kingsport and in downtown Kingsport specifically. That's your quick update. I'm Jeff Fleming. You can check me out at kingsportblogger.com. Um, that's kingsportblogger.com.